So welcome back everybody, I'm going to be in 0.156 today and uh, welcome. I've got this setup of ships here. You would have seen this one in my uh, warp drive engage video which came out about probably yesterday. Uh, this is a follow up, obviously the uh, apparently the function is not intended so it's, it's uh, not a feature. <laughs> I think it's a bug which is allowing us to do what we're doing currently. So I thought I'd just quickly highlight what we were doing. Uh, just in case it's gone and then people can uh, know what it is we were talking about but ultimately we are going to be getting a system for this so we don't really need it to work as well as it does so anyway let me just uh, take you through this I have here the warp 1 the warp 2 the warp 3 uh, warp 4 and finally the warp 5 all of these are available in my public spawn on this on the server so anyone can buy one in I think the last one cost like 6,000 credits, so they're a steal. Um, they're only good for scouting, um, but you could fit a jammer on there, so they're really suited for that role. Um, I'm just going to sort of take you through what they do. So they're all made up of thrust, power, and uh, overdrive effect blocks. You can see this one is the largest of them all, and I demoed that one in the video, part two. Uh, the next one I built was built on someone else's design with much more thrust blocks okay and it was sort of at that point that I thought well hang on what about if I just literally take my old stealth board and try to make it into one of these things so that worked pretty well I mean this one goes okay I'll show you if I just get in it press drag the overdrive in after pressing T uh, there's no camera so Oh yeah, here we go. So we'll just turn it to the left. We'll set nav on my core. So if I, as soon as I hit top speed, activate the overdrive. And it'll then accelerate to its top speed. So just wait and see what the top speed is. We're doing effect efficiency of 4,791. And it's still accelerating with no loss of power. So let's see, we've now made it to 1500 kph. We can keep going. See how fast it goes. It's starting to drain power now though. So 1800, and then I think you lose a bit of speed on sector change. So I think this one might be bouncing around under 2000. Let's see. Okay, so we've done nearly, these sectors on our server are 20 kilometers. And we've just done our fourth sector change. So we're doing about 2,000. Okay, so uh, dis deactivate the effect, push a movement key, that'll drop you back down to the max. And then we'll turn around and head back to 666. There we go. So full speed that way. 92 kilometers was just traveled. So off we go, and when we get there, I'm going to skip the next one and just move straight to warp 5, which is the last one I made. Ended up being the fastest and most efficient. I think it worked so well because it was so small. Um, and like I said, very cheap, so it's really nice for getting around. Um, the way this sort of bug worked, I guess, if you could call it that, was that... Um, the smaller your ship was, I believe, the larger the discrepancy in the efficiency of your effect module. But I don't know for sure. All I know is the bigger the ship, it doesn't work. Although I'm sure someone will try to uh, do it anyway, because you know how these design challenges work. So then, here we are, we're 10k out. So I'll deactivate the boost and hit a button and then we're back down to normal speed so you really get the feeling of dropping out of warp it's really quite cool so uh, in, that f in that case I'm going to move on to the last one which is the warp 5 this one's pretty easy to make as you can see if you look from underneath it's just literally a little berry of power okay so five power blocks I think or maybe six actually because you've got four going around one in the middle and one there so yeah six power blocks nine thrust blocks 
and an effect computer with two effects. Okay, so I'm going to jump into this ship. And obviously we're using the overdrive effect as a passive module. So I'm going to set nav 222. Two, two. Okay, 222 two, two with 20 kilometer sectors is 140 kilometers away. So we'll just clean up the warp 3. And see where's the next one. We'll clean up the warp 1 as well. Two, which we didn't show but like I say I was focused on making this as small as possible therefore as cheap as possible and I wanted a permadrive effect so let's see and we go full speed is attained and we have an effect efficiency of 2105 interestingly that's actually less of an effect efficiency than in the previous ship but as you can see we're already doing 1500 now so this is a significantly more efficient version or at least for what we're trying to do for this design challenge a lot of people have built some cool ships based on this in the two days that this has been up so it's been a lot of fun um but like i say we're looking at it being maybe uh the buff was too high on this so here we go we are now 76 kilometers from 222 and we're traveling at 2500 kilometers per hour totally power stable so you know no problems with this running out I mean I was just jamming two pennies under my W key uh, or rather on my W key and then putting my phone over the top for autopilot and I think I managed to travel like 200 sectors and then came back because here we are at 222 we're gonna drop out as you can see that was a real nice drop out there just click the mouse to deactivate and then push a movement key and here we are at the shop 222 so if I now set my nav again just to remind you where we came from to my home sector that's 140 kilometers so I mean if anything this is a sneak peek of how StarMade is going to work once we get FTL obviously this isn't it and uh, probably should never have worked this way but uh, with new modules coming in sometimes they need a bit of rebalance so I can't wait to see how this is balanced and even if it doesn't work anymore it was certainly a lot of fun for the uh, 0.156 release so um, thanks very much for watching and I'll be putting a copy of this blueprint up even though you probably won't be able to use it as it is intended uh, in a version other than 0.156. So there it is. Uh, enjoy it while it lasts. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time.